A babe literally transferred me two concert tickets. Guys, look, my nail fell off. So they have everything in here but a damn SD card. Oh my god, I haven't even shown damage because I'm so embarrassed. Don't spend the money that you don't have. Guys, somebody tried to rob my camera. Sasa babe, Okoaje, Mambo What's new with you girl? Your girl is, is up. It is 9.15 and I'm off to the gym. Oh, not my dad calling. Hold on one sec. Hey babe. Hello. How are you? Good, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. That's really good. You said your text and uh, you haven't responded. Such a lazy lady. <laughs> dad, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. And you sent your message at 8.29? Come on, dad. Uh, my guest is here. Yeah. Did you send Mama some some pictures? Uh, I don't understand them. These were screenshots from her from her Instagram, which basically show the work that she's done previously. So we'll oh, just. Oh yeah. We'll you just. You want to discuss it? Here yeah, you can talk to her. Huh? Just say hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Lydia. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thanks. Nice speaking to you again. Your dad has sent me some pictures. Yeah. I think the info you've uh, taken from my page. Yeah. The tent is not so big. Mm. It's one pick. Yeah. But we'll put a big basket. And with decorations around it, right? Yeah. Sasa, babe. Nilikuwa na mpigia baba angu tu simu. Nikipanga nyombo. And it's going well. It's going well so far. Few questions from the... What vendor is she? I guess the decor lady. Few questions, because... You've got a plan. Like, this is what happens when you're planning a wedding. You've got loads of things to look after. Catering, decor, all that stuff. I didn't even show you guys. I've just put on my Tech 19 shorts, because I really feel like wearing shorts today. I don't know why, because it's actually very, very cold outside. But I've got them in three different colours. These are, like some of the best shorts that I own. Apart from my Nike dry fits, but those are really expensive. Nike dry fits fit like, mm, but the price is like, oof, you know? So alternatives are these. Black owned 1019 shorts, very stretchy, nice and high, especially for the babies with the big bums. You can do a squat test. I've already done a squat test and it's passed very well. This is how long the shorts are. I've got one in pink. I've got one in like this nice brown. You guys know and I, can, and I love a nudie brown color. And then I've got them in black as well. So yeah, shout out to 1019. I'm gonna leave my discount code for you guys to check out. So buttery, so soft, so soft. That's important to me. And they don't ride up like they really around your thick thighs so they don't ride up so i love a black business from infinity to infinity but good morning babe morning just know that if you guys see me in an actual gym top and not just like a sports bra know that your girl is is it's the time of the month because i i never ever like to wear this but i'm feeling a little bit self-conscious so this is today's gym gym is fit the reason why i don't normally wear like tops to the gym is because i get so hot guys i sweat from like the top of my head which is also why i don't do like anything on my head not even a cap i do these really really thin scarves because they get soaked through like i sweat so much so when i wear like a full top this makes me feel so hot this makes me feel so hot but i'm not feeling I'm not feeling the most comfortable right now this will have to do all that's left to do is put on my watch oh and like i said guys these are the shorts look at how cute they are i love these shorts look at how they fit very nice and they all fit like they're super stretchy real 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 freaking nice and real girls you know the girls who get chub rub you can wear these shorts underneath i have specific chub rub shorts though that i normally wear these are my specific chub rub shorts they're really really thin got these from patient m but these can also do so it's about to be nearly time for me to head to the gym i was planning on doing something a little bit different with you guys today i'm planning on doing a spend the day with me which i am so excited for considering what today is guys dream scan culture guys literally just last week i was posting on my story about how much i love maseho like maseho can you build a beat on stage oh listen look look literally let me just open my spotify let's open it together last song played We are going to see my stake home. My stake home. Be, be on stage. I'm so excited. It's literally only just last week that I was telling you guys about how much I love his music. And guys, the craziest thing happened. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I haven't told you all this time. What the hell? Guys, I can't believe that I've been sitting here talking about my stake home and I haven't told you this. This is crazy guys. This happened to me last week and I just cannot believe it. When I was editing the vlog, I posted a little snippet of it. Last week's vlog, you know, when I'm jamming in the car, I'm like singing to my 
I say hop and I'm like, oh my God, I love this music. It makes me so happy, right? So I posted a snippet of that on my story on Instagram, right? Just having a good time, having a good time saying that I really love his music. And then a few girls DM'd me being like, oh my God, we love him too. And did you know that he's coming to London? Like he's got a few dates coming up. To which I was like, wait, what? Why hadn't I even thought of that? Why didn't I even think to look if he had any concert dates coming? So I'm like quickly doing my Google do, 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 and he's coming to London and there's tickets available. So I literally just do, 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 quickly bought the tickets because it was meant to be like a little surprise for Damini, right? So I went ahead and bought the tickets. I'm feeling so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell Damini about these tickets, guys. That was at around, that was at around 9.49 AM, right? So I got my email confirming my order number and I'm like so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I can't you tell my husband about this. And then, right, that's it. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't, like, I hadn't posted anywhere that I've got these concert tickets. Guys, tell me why at 3.24 p.m. somebody called Andrew Germain transferred me two tickets to go and see Maseho for free. Like a babe literally transferred me two concert tickets. And guys, I have been looking for Andrew for the last two weeks because I haven't accepted these tickets. One, I haven't accepted them because we already have our two tickets, right? And also I feel bad accepting these and not knowing who to even say thank you to. Like I did this public post on stories being like, Andrew, please reveal yourself, girl. Where you at? That's like, one of the nicest things that a subscriber has ever done for me. Like, I, I didn't ask for this, guys. I didn't say anything. And they didn't even know. I don't think, well, I'm guessing that she didn't know that I had the tickets because I hadn't posted about it. Like, I hadn't said. But that's so nice. Isn't that so nice? Now, I don't know what to do with it because the concert is tonight, guys. Like, literally tonight. I still have the email saying that she's transferred me the tickets, but I've never accepted them. And I feel a bit bad accepting them because I already have two tickets for my husband and I. So I'm like, what do I do? What would you do? Like, what would you do in this situation? She hasn't revealed herself all this time. All this time. It's been literally like a week and a half and she still hasn't revealed herself. So yeah, that happened. And I just literally, I can't believe that happened to me. Like, the craziest things happen. And I'm just, I feel so blessed permanently. I really do. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to head to the gym. I've been here to taking phone calls, chatting to you, organizing weddings, everything, but stepping my foot in the gym. Let me put my vest on and let's go work out. This woman is trying to finish me. Morning guys, what's up? Checking in from the gym. Guys, I had a disaster at the gym. Guys, look, my nail fell off. Okay, it didn't fall off. My nail broke and it broke so neatly off because as I was putting the weight back, I literally hit my nail on the edge and it broke clean off. It actually wasn't painful. You know when it breaks off clean like this so I can just like glue it back on. At least that's my plan to glue this back on like this because I've got a concert to go to. The only issue is that we only have Gorilla Glue in the house, like super, super, super strong Gorilla Glue that I used to fix my suitcase wheels back on and they've never fallen off. So there's just no way I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue to put this back on because that's, it's literally a disaster pending to happen. It's giving my hair, it don't move. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. Like, that's... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe that woman. She's so ridiculous. She was so ridiculous. That was a silly thing to do. But anyway, so I need to keep this because I, I need my nails. How am I gonna see Maseho with freaking nine nails? It doesn't work like that. So we need to pick that up. I need to add that onto my shopping list when I'm gonna go pick up things. But I wanted to come on quickly, quickly, quickly share this, my new piece of tech. One thing about me, I will buy tech. Like I literally need, not even, I need half an advert. Not even a whole advert. I saw this on Aaliyah's Faces channel and then I saw Yvonne Victoria vlogging with it and I was like, literally, I bought it I think within a minute. Amazon, do, 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 do. next day delivery, bing bang bong. Here we are, my Osmo is here guys. I'm gonna have these linked below for you guys. I went for the creator combo simply because Yvonne said, go for the creator combo. And she literally just said it in the background. So I thought, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what's actually in this combo. So let's unbox. So first things first, you get this wallet and this is really cool. I guess this is like how you can travel with your camera. This is the inside of the bag. It's got different segments in it where they've got the camera and some accessories. But like I said, guys, I genuinely don't even know what is in this creator combo. Should we just just open it and see what's inside. Let's do it. So first things first is the camera itself. Look at how tiny this camera is. It's so small, it's as big as my hand. Like literally, look at my hand, like that. The really cool thing about this is that you can actually use it like this, portrait and also landscape. So it films literally on both ways. So you can use this for TikTok, Instagram, and then if you wanna quickly record something for YouTube, you could just pop it like that and use it for YouTube. So I really like that, I really, really like that. And then it's got the, obviously, the little camera that rotates around. And I believe that it's even got a mode that follows you around. So that's the camera in itself. And then there's all of these little accessories. So let's just go through that. First accessory is this, which I believe is a stand. This should go, oh, where does this go? I thought this would go at the bottom. So it stands like this, but what? And then there's this. Oh, here we go. There we go. So this is the other piece which goes to the bottom of this here. So to make it onto a stand, I guess this clips underneath here like that. Nice. It seems like it's charged already. Love that. This underneath here to make it stand. It makes it much, much lo longer though. But then now you can stand it on a surface if you wanted to. So for example, imagine if this was a table and you can just stand it on the table like that. What else is in here? In the creator combo, you also have, ooh, it's a microphone. It's a little mic piece that you can clip right here so that you can hear me clearly. Nice, 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 nice. Obviously it's not plugged in. And then there's still a few more bits. Oh, there we go. It's like a little boom, a little fluffy thing for the mic. So that goes there. And this is something that would be helpful to stop any kind of rattle, to stop any wind if you're walking. Like Damini's tapping in the background. If you're using one of these mics, you might not be able to hear his typing, but if you're not using one of these mics, then it will pick up all of the sounds that's around. Whereas this focuses like right here. That's why you see the TikTokers being like, so, would you marry this girl for fiver? This, oh, I think this is probably another extendo. What's this about? One thing about it, I'm not gonna read. I'm literally never gonna read about what anything is, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, there's another shorter piece here. So that, there's two other little bits. Is it a magnet? <laughs> Why is there a magnet? I don't get it. Okay. Put that back. There's another small thing. Oh, wow. I think this is like a little fish eye or something. Oh, wow. That is so clear. That's insane. I think it's even got a, it's got, okay. It's got a little filter in it. I mean, it's slightly bigger. I think, no, it I, I don't think it's, it's, it's clearer. And is it, does it look oh, warmer? No, maybe it's not. It's just warmer. It looks warmer and cleaner. Yeah, it's like the color suddenly has more, more energy to it. Yeah, one way makes it slightly bigger. The other way makes it slightly smaller. Yeah. Oh, baby, maybe maybe I use a magnet to attach that onto the camera in front. Where's the magnet? Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, babe, look, it is. Look, it's a 0 0.75 times 15 mil. So they have everything in here, but a damn SD card. They've even got additional lenses. Everything but a damn SD card. That's so cheeky. That's so cheeky. What is this? There's one more thing in here. Oh, I think this is a case. Protective case. Is that to cover it? Guys, okay, so I need to do a little reading. But that is pretty much my new toy. I'm gonna have it linked below. And you know what else as well? I'm gonna take this with us when we're going shopping so that you guys can see what the quality looks like. Because one thing about me is I love tech. I will spend my money on tech like 
by the drop of a hat because I feel like anything that helps me improve my work and my content, like it's always, always worth it. So you guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the upcoming footage in the next clips, like when we're going shopping. Let me know. When I saw it on everyone else's channel, I said, yep, grab that, need that, gonna want that. But like I said, the creator combo doesn't come with an SD card. So you have to make sure that you get yourself an SD card. Luckily, I have so many SD cards. I have a graveyard of SD cards because I always need them. How do I eject this? Okay, so you press that down. Then I'm gonna put my SD card here and set it up. It uses a micro SD and I've just got a 64 gig one in there for now. Let me set this up and then we can get going. Osmo Pocket 3, first use. camera guys this is literally me trying it as we go is the focus right i have to remember to look in the camera like right here as opposed to the screen the screen is really nice though i should have taken a microphone with me but hopefully we can test the sound with this as well i feel like the sound is coming up just fine i'm gonna make my way to the shopping center canary it's kind of good because i've got everything actually wait let me just make sure let me ask this guy before excuse me hi um is zara down this way Who? zara oh that's better other way great thanks no every time every single time oh my gosh this feels weird though i find that this feels a lot more weird in with vlogging than having like a camera because i feel like this looks like i could be facing it that way and it's so obviously in my hand as opposed to a camera where it's you can see the lens is out and the lens is usually pointing at the person who's vlogging so that makes me feel less nervous i don't know the girls are saying that this makes them more comfortable to vlog i don't know i actually like having a camera because it looks like i have a camera and you know damn well what i'm doing if i have a camera but this looks like because of the little gimbal it looks like i could be pointing it forward so like when i was speaking to the guy just now i think he thought i was vlogging him i don't like that but anyway let's keep going this is like literally me using it for like two and a half minutes i ended up in the wrong exit as usual now i'm going to try and make my way to zara we've got zara we've got super drug we've got h&m got a few bits to get to i like how smooth it is i'll give you that nice nice cheeky holiday anyone <laughs> i say we take this for a spin in a different country guys like we have to test this out in the sun right i feel like my holiday is due i love this guys i'm so <laughs> i'm bipolar one minute i love it one minute i'm like i don't know i'm feeling it let me let me let me feel it this is not where i wanted to come out oh no it is it is it is i like that you can flip it so easily too many too many this is possibly the what i'm thinking of this i feel like this could be nice this could be cute with some accessories maybe silver yeah good price too you guys will never believe what you are standing on where's my phone <laughs> you guys are on the shoe you're literally on the shoe and it's tracking me Hands free. I love it. Anyway, so I'm in the changing room. So these are the bits that I have got. This dress, 
which I think could be like dressed down really nicely. I wish I had my mic on me because then I wouldn't have to shout. But anyway, this dress that I think I could dress down with some boots because obviously we're going to a concert. Some boots and some nice silver jewelry. This could work. <coughs> or this just very casual dress. But then I saw this jacket. Let me put it together. And then the cap. Is that overdoing it? Casual. Could be. Maybe without the cap. Maybe casual, just like this. I'm gonna try these on. First dress. I feel like it could be smaller. This is a little bit loose. I could definitely go down the sizes. I feel like it's a little bit loose, but I like the color. I can't believe this camera is really tracking my face. That's crazy. Oh, I really thought that this had a zip that could open up. Let's try it. That's not what I was expecting. This is not what I was expecting at all. this was gonna be too low. This is the third dress, but does it look too office-y? Like you're going to the office. Put some boots, some boots. Office babe or concert. When it's the time of the month, it's quite literally the worst time to come on shop. I'm looking at my body like, what's going on? Look, my little fluffy things have gone. Like I had them slayed down, guys. This is, it's not working out. I need to go somewhere else. I have no idea where else I'm gonna go. I really thought I had it in the bag. What a gag. <laughs> shouldn't but i'm gonna go into greg's seeing as i'm already feeling bad about my body i might as well get a steak bake yeah oh or do i get a cheese and turnover no steak bake Okay, we can hate these, we can hate them. I'm starting to feel like all of my shopping days always end the same way. <laughs> With me disappointed, and then me ending up in ZZ's getting some food to recover to help me feel better. This has been a disaster. At least the olives are good. I'm just waiting on my glass of Prosecco. That's really it at this point. living on edge. I think that sometimes in life you have to be a woman about your situation and take ownership. I'm sorry, like for the most part, I'm down for being sneaky. I'm down for not always confessing things. I think that not everything needs to be said, not everything needs to be spoken. But I do think in some situations, it is beyond trying to hide it. And you have to True, 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 true. Receipt podcast. Back home, I have put the washing on, turned on the tumble dryer, everything's drying. Now I want to look for something else to wear. I feel like I have a bit of an idea. The lighting is so bad, like this is okay. It's so much worse in here. And the worst thing is that the light is on. The light is on. It's like, it's so dark. Why 
is it so dark? Like what's happening? That's why you're in a corridor. It's kind of strange, but the lighting works a bit better this way. But you can't see my wardrobe. Let me show you this shirt dress. Okay, options, options, options. I've already worn all of these, but this is the beauty of shopping your wardrobe. You already know how it looks and you know what goes with what. So this is really simple. I wore this for Sandra's baby shower. It's just like a white, like a satin shirt. I could do this with boots. This really works well with boots and I have my boots. I know exactly where they are. As you can see behind me, it looks, it looks mad, but it's actually not. <laughs> boxes lots and lots of moving boxes it's going well like it's actually going well i'm trying to like just get ahead of things and have things packed ahead of time so that when it comes to it i'm not stressed i'm not like moving is such a stressful situation and last time we had movers and that really really helped but this time around i feel like i liked having movers just for the like practicality of them physically moving the boxes but like when it came to packing i want to pack my things myself so i know exactly what's in the boxes i feel like the movers did a good job of packing last time but it was quick it was quick so there was random things in random boxes and sometimes it took us a while to find things so i've started packing but I'm taking it easy, I'm taking it slow. I kind of love it. I love me a little bit of organization. Guys, I'm so sorry about my camera and the focus. I have literally no idea what's going on with it. Yeah, so option one is this kind of silky white satin shirt. All this lasts for Sandra's baby shower, Isaiah's baby shower. Well, Isaiah was a baby being showered. And this is really cute, I like this. Or I could just go down this super casual like mesh. This gives me like concert vibes. Mesh, Zara, legging, trousers, things. I wore these for the, actually wore these last in St. Lucia. St. Lucia to London, right? And I also wore these in the sit down of the wedding series wrap up with Sandra and Sanyu. I really, really love this. And it comes with a two piece. But I think I just probably want to wear it like with a black skims top. A bit casual, put some jewelry, something like this. And then with my black platforms, I think that could work. It's casual, it's concert, it's chill. The concert is being held at Alexander palace ali pali i know that we've been to the park like we walked all the way to the park in lockdown and that was so so cute oh, lockdown we walked so much guys like literally i really really enjoyed that element of it and especially like in the warmer months that was really, really nice being outside in the parks but that was about it like literally that was it so yeah i think this and this and platforms and maybe silver jewelry like chunky something 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 i like it and of course i got the shoes from zara oh my god i haven't even shown damn you because i'm so embarrassed that always buy this shoe i have this shoe like four different times from zara and i think all of them i've never actually worn i just love it i like this one because it was like more brown in tone you know? <laughs> the other ones that I have are not. I definitely need to show you my little organization situation, my boxes as I'm packing. But I'll probably do that in a different video. For now, I'm gonna go take a shower, charge my little camera. Actually loving it so far. And I realized that this shorter one is one that you can use to put the stand, but the slightly longer one that I was showing you earlier is actually a battery pack. So I'm gonna charge that as well. And then we can test this out when we get to Ali Pali. But I've actually really enjoyed testing it out in the shopping center. But I was definitely the weirdo who was like, <laughs> I don't mind. Let's go shower. You are on top of acetone right now. And I'm sitting on a very croaky toilet lid. So excuse any funny noises. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my makeup in the bathroom. I prefer doing my makeup in this bathroom because of the light. It's nice and bright and like white. It means that I can be sure about how my makeup is looking. As opposed to it looking like all warm and orange. And then when I go somewhere bright, I'm like, what in the blending hell? But I don't even want to do too much. I was actually thinking about changing to my other wig, my curly wig. I'd even washed the front, but I literally cannot be bothered. Like my energy levels are so low. I'm gonna keep this on. I'm just gonna keep this on. I'm just gonna really stick on the edges and just keep this on and just keep it moving, you know? And I wanna do my makeup and I also I don't wanna do too much. I did my eyebrows with Night Sling and she just got me right. Guys, I feel like I've got the full set apart from the broken nail this morning. That's so annoying. But I feel like I really have the full set. Got my eyebrows done, Night Sling did those for me and they just look so good. Lashes, Inga, of course. Nails all London apart from my chip this morning guys that gym session this is why i'm telling you that adding resistance to my life has literally just added resistance to my life <laughs> that's all it has like what's going on like why is my nail broken that's so unnecessary that's a really good match actually two-faced cacao it's not bad actually i remember i was matched for this in the store and i said that this would be my color where, like when i'm my usual color when i'm not traveling because when i travel i go literally so much darker in like hours but when i'm not traveling when i'm in the uk there's no sunshine this is my color and it is so perfect 
Why is it a bit too yellow? I think it's good. I usually use my Pat McGrath in Deep 32, but I just happened to have reached for this today and I don't think I met it. Guys, I seem to have forgotten my own memo. I thought we weren't doing too much makeup. <laughs> it's too much. God, this was not the look I was going for tonight. But okay, full face it is. It's just because I don't actually have time for a full face. I have time for a little light beat. But here we are. <laughs> blend, blend, blend. Guys, so my phone has fully flung me back in wedding talk. And wedding talk is literally the side of TikTok where it's literally all wedding related wedding stuff. I'm talking decor, vendors, photographers, ideas, scrapbooks, proposals, dresses, designers, bridesmaids, things like literally all of it. That is all I'm getting served all of the time. And I think it obviously is because of the fact that we are planning my Nyomba ceremony. But it literally just reminded me of something that I really wanted to come and share for any kind of brides, any upcoming brides, any future brides is guys please don't get lost in the source do not get lost in the source of it all because it can all look so appealing it is all so lovely like pictures all look so wonderful and yes you want the day to look so perfect and you have your idea of what the day should be like let's not lie like that was very important to me but you know what was even more important the fact that after the date, after the, the date passed, like after the 22nd of August, were we going to be okay? Like, were we going to be financially still able to like go and do other things, travel, experience things and start businesses and like look at the pickle that we're in. Like look at the fact that our landlord has decided to sell this place, which obviously is not something that we had planned for. Like that wasn't in our plans at all. But if we had found ourselves in a position where we had overspent on our wedding and like overcommitted ourselves financially, like that would definitely limit how we're able to move forward like in any way like please don't get lost in the sauce it is important for the day to look the way you had imagined or even if you had never imagined what the day looked like kind of like me i had never really imagined but i still had a very strong visual assignment <laughs> please stick those visual assignments within your budget and cut your coat according to your cloth because i think you will regret it after you don't want to find yourself in a space where you're paying back loans or paying back i don't know who you're paying back to for a day that's already been and gone and passed but yet a future that's still very uncertain like you know we are literally in a recession like inflation is up recession is in and i was watching it in the news the other day when i was my aunties i was like i mean i don't need the news to tell me i literally don't need the news to tell me that we're in a recession we've been like have y'all not been living in the same economy? <laughs> We've been in a recession, trust me, we feel it. We really have to think beyond the moment and think beyond like the visuals of this one day. Yes, make it beautiful, make it lovely, make it your own, but please think about the future. Literally think about the future because 2022, we got married. We're like, yeah, we're gonna move into our own space for two years. And then after that, we'll figure out what we're gonna do after. Okay, we get married, we move into our own space. And then a year in, the landlord kicks us out. Like, now what? <laughs> what if our plans weren't able to be flexible because of like other financial commitment, which is still attached to the wedding that's already been and gone? Like, I really wouldn't like that. And in fact, we don't have that, you know, we didn't want that. So we made sure that we didn't do that. So our wedding was very much within our budget. Different people have different budgets. So what my budget is could be very, very different to yours, but what your budget is could be very, very, very different to mine too, girl. Like, oh, you know, if you have the money for it, of course, spend it. But what I'm saying is don't spend the money that you don't have. Like, please don't do that. For what? Literally for what? Because I have never sat once and thought, actually, no, I'm gonna lie. I would say I've never sat once and thought about a wedding I've been to, but I think about Sandra's wedding often. I do. <laughs> I think about Sandra's wedding often. We had such a good time. <laughs> we had such a good time, definitely as a guest. My other battery died, so as I'm baking, let's go downstairs and try and get dressed. Guys, you see how dark it is? I know I'm not bugging, right? Does it need like a knock? Let's try this gonna go for the casual look and I love a flat form too. I'm so sorry that we're in the dark but I guess we're testing out the lighting on this. How is it looking? I need to take this off before it over bakes. Guys so I tried on the black skims top 
and that outfit looked far too casual. I put on the matching top instead and now I think it's fine. So really there was actually no need for me to have left the house at all because I didn't actually achieve much today. That's the truth. I didn't really achieve much. All of the things that I wanted to do, I actually ended up going to the wrong shopping centre because this shopping centre didn't really do anything that I needed. I already told you guys that. But anyway, this is my outfit. I'm wearing these earrings, one forward, one backwards, bangles, and then this fit. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we this is how the face turned out. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. And I'm actually not even mad at the hair either. I'm not mad at the whole look. Should we go and see Master Home in the comments? Let me know what you think about what I had to say regarding wedding planning. When you think about wedding planning, have you started saving for it? In fact, yeah, good question to the girlies. Anyone who's thinking about getting married in the future, have you started saving for your wedding? And do you have realistic idea of how much what your visual, aesthetically looking, pleasing wedding looks like. You know roughly how much that costs? Because I think it might be worth doing some research because I was shocked, honey. These vendors are not cheap. These prices, it's like they're just picking them out of a hat. I promise you. Let me know, have you started saving? And if not, do you care to save? Or is that something that you like? You'll figure it out later on. I'm just looking at this perfume <laughs> this whole time I'm talking to you thinking, let me spray myself. Cairo and Halligan's. Oh. That was a Dubai airport gift from us to us. So we have got to Ali Pali and two things. <laughs> One, I have solved the mystery as to who my sugar daddy is. It's me. I am Anjui Jermaine. I am the sugar daddy. I am the person who gifted myself and asked those tickets. Remember that I was saying that I ordered the tickets via, I think it's called via GoGo. It's basically a ticket reselling app, which means that when you buy the tickets from there, they're then transferred to you via a different app. So basically I am Andrew Jermaine. Like that's obviously somebody else somewhere in the world, but they just resold me their tickets. And I only figured it out because when I was looking for the actual tickets, it was telling me about, oh, you should have received another ticket from Ticketmaster. I'm like, Ticketmaster, I didn't get this from Ticketmaster. I was like, oh, is that what it was? So here I was feeling so happy, like somebody sent me tickets. But anyway, hope yeah. We've got here and we've parked literally in the woods. I'm wearing platforms and we're so far away. We're so far. I wish that I had thought about that. I thought that there'd be like a smaller car park, like literally near the palace itself. But here we are. Should have worn trainers. Literally should have. Everybody here is wearing trainers. It's very relaxed. I'm seeing hoodies, jumpers. So I'm, I'm glad that I um, shopped my, my closet in the end. But definitely flopped on the trainers and my feet are going to freeze because we're so far. But it is what it is. I'm going to take the little camera with me and see how it looks. Should we do a little test? This is a double test. In this occasion, the big cam savings. But anyway, let's go. Wow, it's cold. So we've just paid for our parking and I was asking the security guy, like, how would they know if we don't pay? He was like, there's cameras. So I bet you today there's going to be a bunch of people who are going to go home and forget to pay for their parking and get a big fine. But as you can see, we're literally in the park. I'm using car headlights as light and we are walking up this very, very, very large hill. Steep hill. Ooh, thanks for the light, sir. Put the blinkers on. We have been outside twice in one week, and we even have another out outing to go on Friday. I'm so proud. So proud of us. Literally, we are outside. This is my first time ever inside this Alexandra Palace. Oh,
I just tried to rob my camera. I just Why did you put it there? Because I was filming myself, because it's my property. I literally didn't know anyone was there. You just tried to steal my camera. What? That, literally, I just pulled her trying to put it in her bag. Are you serious? Deadly serious, it's right here. Oh. Shut, shut, shut. I think it's even still recording. It is still recording. The woman took my camera and I caught her putting it in her bag. Crazy. <laughs> Guys, what an adventurous concert. I never knew that things could get so adventurous like this. Guys, somebody tried to rob my camera. And the worst part is that she got caught in 4K, like full actual K. She tried to rob my camera. Like this has never ever happened to me in all my 10 years. And then tried to, say, and then tried to be like, oh, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. Is, is that, that why you decided? It in your bag? Is that why you decided to pick it up and like look at it and then just bag. cheekily put it in your bag? Guys, drama. The whole thing was just, oh. Uh, Anyway, well, shout out to Maseho. Shout great out to Maseho. Great performer. Great performer. Great Thank vocals. Amazing vocals. Amazing sax. If singing never works out for him at some point, which obviously it's already worked out, <laughs> but just, <laughs> just in case he wants to do like a side hustle, his side hustle should definitely be becoming a saxophonist because he's amazing. He is a saxophonist. Yeah, but like as a full time. Anyway, it was great. We had a great time. And the platforms are actually not such a bad idea after all. It was quite good because you know they're quite level. We are now literally the rush is to get to the car park before the concert finishes. Rule number one leave early. <laughs> always. Always leave early. Don't be the person who's there listening, struggling for the last song because then you'll be struggling to come out of the car park too. Good night, right, babe? Apart from the drama. Yeah, apart from the drama. This has actually just been a crazy match. Okay, so we are back home and I just want to take my makeup off before I say goodnight to you guys. I am so tired. I'm so tired and my ovaries are kicking me down. I took some Nurofen and Damini is also, oh, not us sharing tablets. <laughs> He's also got like a toothache situation. He might need to go see the dentist tomorrow as an emergency. But yeah, my evening was really lovely really lovely apart from like i said the girl who tried to steal my camera literally what was that about and do you know what it just reminds me so a couple of weeks back and by a couple i mean could be two months ago i was saying i think it's the vlog of my birthday week i was saying about how i'm learning in adulthood is that saying sorry i'm just saying sorry full stop not sorry with a but or sorry with a oh but did you have you uh, 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 uh. Say sorry in the moment. When you mess up, just say sorry and acknowledge it and then allow the person to either accept or decide how they want to move on. But don't say sorry, but, because that's what the girl kept doing. It was really getting on my nerve until like her friend had to jump in and be like, she's really sorry. She didn't, she, 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 I don't even know what he was saying. Like, obviously they're just lying. She wasn't sorry at all. She really wasn't sorry at all. Like, she's sorry that she got caught. She wasn't sorry that she stole my camera. In fact, she kept saying that, oh, she didn't know that it was a camera. She didn't know it was a camera. I'm like, if you didn't know it was a camera, why did you take it and hide it into your bag then? Like, why were you hiding it if you didn't know it was a camera? How come you didn't take the ketchup or the other sauces or all the other stuff that was on that table? Why did you take my camera? And then you're not even saying sorry. You're saying sorry with a but. But, 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 but. I'm gonna take accountability. And she had none of that, which is crazy to me. Cause I could have just reported her, literally. Cause I have footage of me doing the crime. <laughs> I literally have footage of the crime being committed. Silly girl. Anyway, guys, my stomach is beating me down. It's so funny because it takes me like two days every single time to catch up with the fact that the reason why my stomach is insatiable and the reason why my appetite is through the roof and the reason why I'm craving sugar is because it's the time of the month. It always takes me like a day or two to click and then when it clicks, I'm like, oh, oh yeah. That does make sense. <laughs> but that's been me. On our way to Alexandra Palace, I ate a whole entire pack of Haribo's. On my way from Zara earlier, from a very unsuccessful trip, I also got a small pack of sweets. I'm just being honest. Anyway, guys, 
feel like I want to love you guys and need you. This has been a very realistic day in my life. Oh, one way things really haven't gone the way I expected them to, but they still turned out great. Oh my god, I got to meet quite a few guys. So shout out to everybody who came and said hi. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to love you guys and leave you right here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these kind of days. Hopefully, my next one things actually turn out according to plan. This one I'm gonna charge this one to the time of the month. Like I'm gonna charge it to the game. Anyway. Guys, if you have watched until this part of the video, please be sure to like the video. Be sure to send it to a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend to join the VIP gang because we're trying to reach 300,000 subscribers this year. Guys, I'm gonna have to love you and leave you and I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.